For our final step, we'll connect the template with a product in our store. Go to Link Products to select a product from your store and assign a template to it. By clicking Choose Template, you'll be able to connect the product with a template from your list. In this case, we're going to assign the template of the canvas with the biggest number of names. Once the template is assigned, we will create the options customers will use to make their choices. These are the dropdowns, swatches, and text inputs customers will see on your store. Simply name the option set for this product and it will be assigned to it automatically. The only thing remaining is to link the product with the other templates for fewer names. We'll edit the option set we just created by going to Option Sets and we'll add a new option to it. This option will be a drop-down for customers to choose the number of names. We'll assign to the option the function to change templates. Then create the values for the option and on each value select the template for that number of names. You can rearrange the options order by dragging them. Lastly, we'll condition the text options to appear only when a certain number of names is selected. For example, the text for name 6 should only appear when the number of names chosen is 6. To do that, expand the text option, go to Conditions, and set the rules. Repeat it with all text options and save. Now let's check how our product looks. And, there it is. Just like that, we have the preview working. Now go ahead and try it yourself. If you have any questions, click the link below to visit our help center. Goodbye, and happy customizing.